Have you ever had this happen? I don't know if you can see this on camera, but this rug is soaking wet. This is coming from the shower. So what happens is this strip along the bottom of the glass, if you have a frameless glass shower, these things really begin to leak. All right, so this house is only two years old and this thing is already leaking like a city. So every time we take a shower, it's just soaking wet over here. It gets the bath mat all soaking wet. It's all coming from this. These are super easy to replace. These can be bought, I got a two pack on Amazon for 16 bucks and they're super easy to replace. I'll show you how to do that. Um, first thing you gotta do though, before you get on Amazon is you gotta measure the thickness of your glass. Most of them are a quarter inch, but there are some that are uh, three eighths inch also. There may be other sizes that I'm not familiar with, but uh, most of them are a quarter inch. And these things are pretty easy to take off. You pretty much just push down and then you gotta kind of slide off. And there you go, there's the old one. And you see it's crumpled up, it's really flimsy and just a mess and kind of yuck too because there gets water inside and it starts to get yuck. So here's one of the brand new ones that I got on Amazon. This one actually has a double sweep on it rather than a single sweep. And then this piece right here is really just to help deflect the water. That goes towards the inside. That helps deflect the water out away from where your seal is touching your tile. So the only thing we gotta do now is we have to go outside and cut this. These come in 39 inch pieces and this door isn't 39 inches wide. Um, so we're gonna go outside and cut it real quick. Then we're gonna come back and all we gotta do is slide it on. All right, so as you can see, the original one is significantly shorter than the new one. So we are gonna take, match this up and we're gonna use these to cut it. These are really nice if you don't have them. They're great for cutting hose, all kinds of stuff, but you don't have to use these. You can use, there's just all kinds of things you can use to cut it, but these always make a really nice cut. So there you go, nice clean cut. All right, so to put it back on, just start it down here, slide it on here, and then push it back to the end. And then just take it, push it up the whole distance, and we're done. So now that that project's complete, no more water on the floor. Took three or four minutes, including the removing it, putting it back on, or removing it, cutting it, putting it back on. Took three or four minutes. Thanks for joining us today, and we will catch you next time right here on Dad's Garage.